do 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 Hello, my name is Brendan. Hi Ableton users, I'm going to do a tutorial on making kick drums with operator. Ableton provides a tutorial in the lessons, but I find it to be not as effective as just seeing an actual video of it, as seeing somebody do it. Okay, so I have operator default preset, and instead of this melody loop, I'm uh, going to just play a rhythmic thing like that. Maybe I'll turn one of them up like this. Okay, first things first, you have to fix the main oscillator. Well, I do anyway. And you have to pick a frequency. Uh, 55 is good. Now you have a very basic sine wave at a uh, 55 hertz. It's sort of like a bass note. And, uh, here, I'll turn the volume up. Can you still hear me? Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. And, uh, let's turn on another oscillator. Does that sound okay? Not yet. Let's fix it. And let's do something that is harmonic with 55. 110 will do. And uh, 55 hertz, by the way, and 110 hertz, by the way, are, are the note A. So right now this is tuned to uh, the note A. Attack, decay, and release values are very important. That's why this sounds nothing like a kick drum yet. Let's turn this sustain down to here. Turn the decay a little bit longer. Now it's starting to sound like a little bit more like a bass kick. And let's turn on another oscillator. Make this one even higher. Might as well. Same thing. Last touch is using a pitch pitch envelope. Initial settings of zero and peak of forty eight is a good way to start, and then you can start turning up the pitch envelope. See where it goes, how you want it. That sounds about right. Okay. And now the main oscillator have to change its attack and release. Hi, there was an interruption because the shareware video capture I'm using is uh, only allows five minutes, so I just started again. Uh, these note lengths, uh, the longer one sounds better with this sound. It's it's not a 
short kick, it's more a bass kick. I'll turn it up. It's pretty full now, isn't it? Here, I'll turn it up and uh, tweak some of the parameters that I was messing around with and just try to follow along on the screen. I won't talk because uh, it won't come through very well. So those are some basic parameters that you can mess around with uh, to engineer your own kick sounds with Operator, Ableton Live's Operator, which I find to be a very nice instrument. I really enjoy it. I like the sounds it makes. There you go.